So let's take a look at the print management tool on Windows Server. Now I'm going to find it by, from my server manager, going to Tools and Print Management. Now this will allow me to manage printers across multiple servers. And so in this first block here under Custom Filters, you're going to see filters for, uh, pre-built filters for all of our uh, printers across all of our print servers. So this will show us all printers, regardless of where they're at, all drivers, any printers that are currently not ready, any printers with jobs. Now, I have nothing in here because I just installed this, and that's okay. Uh, underneath the custom filters, I'll also have my print servers, and because I've got print and document services on this device, you'll see that listed here, IT146. Now I can add an additional server. If I've got more than one print server, I can right click and then add and remove servers. And so I can manage multiple servers from this one print management tool. And this actually is very useful because it saves me from having to jump from server to server to server to try to manage all of my printers. I can just have them all in one place. And then these filters are going to work across all of them. So if I've got four print servers here and I want to look at printers not ready, it will show me any printer across all four print servers. So under the individual server, I'm going to have drivers, forms, ports, and printers. And the drivers here is going to show me all drivers that are on this particular print server. Now, I can add additional drivers here. Right click and add driver or manage drivers. Now when I install a printer into this print server in order to be shared, it will install the driver for me. But if I've got, let's say I've got Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 clients in my network, I might want to install a driver for the same printer for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. Now when I install it, it'll give me whatever driver is appropriate for this device. And so on this server, a Windows 10 driver, uh, this print driver for the server would work with Windows 10 as well. But I might want to manually add in Windows 7 and Windows 8 drivers if they're needed. That way when a Windows 7 or Windows 8 client connects to it, they will have the appropriate div uh, driver that they can download from here and use it to connect to that printer. So that's what this driver's tool is for. It allows me to view, manage, add, and remove additional print drivers for the printers that are shared off of this, or for the print devices that are shared off of this server. Forms obviously gives me all the different forms that are available. That we don't deal with a whole lot. Ports is going to show me all of my available ports. And again, as I add a printer, it's going to add in that uh, the appropriate ports. But if I remove a printer and want to get rid of the port, I can deal with that here as well. And then last but not least is printers. And this is going to show me all of my printers that are there. And you'll notice all of these are local printers. And some of them actually are coming from my client. So I've connected to this over RDP. And you'll notice some of these are redirects. Okay, these are redirected from my client that I use to RDP to this. Okay. Now, the last option here is for deployed printers, and this will show all printers that are deployed in group policy. Now, you can share a printer off of a print server without deploying it via group policy, and then users will just have to connect to that printer, and they can do it by opening up the UNC path, so they can open up file manager is one way to do it. You can also do it, by the way, let's see if I can get my file manager open, there we go. You can also do it, by the way, by going on your workstation to add printer and then pointing to the UNC path name. Or, in here, you can type backslash backslash the server name. And then you can either just browse to it, which I'm not sharing anything off of here at the moment, or you can type backslash the actual printer to connect to the printer. And you can do that from the client if you don't have it deployed in group policy. If you have it deployed in group policy, you can still do that. But if the client is subject to that group policy, it will automatically be deployed for them. And that's why we like to deploy things using group policy because it simplifies our process of installing printers. We can make them automatically installed to a computer or to a user based on our group policy. Okay, that by the way is different from listing a printer in Active Directory. If I create a printer and I list it in Active Directory, then people will be able to search Active, 
Active Directory to find it, but it won't automatically be deployed unless it's also deployed in group policy. So to add a printer, we just right click and add printer. And I'm going to do something really generic. I'm just going to fake this. I'm going to add a new printer using existing port LPT1, which doesn't actually exist on this device. I'm going to go ahead and install a new driver. And I'm just going to use the generic text only printer and click next. Next. This doesn't actually exist, but it's going to give us a printer that we can look at here and finish. <clears throat> So that now is going to show up in my printers right here, generic text only. And then I can right click on the printer, open the print queue to manage uh, properties, pause printing, list it in the directory. This is going to put it in active directory so people can find it there. I can deploy it with group policy. By the way, that obviously only works if you're on an active directory domain, you're a member server. Set printing defaults, manage sharing, print test page, look at specific properties, enable branch office direct printing, which is something we'll do sometimes if our print server is in one office in our main office and in a branch office, we might have a network attached printer that's shared off of here. By enabling branch office direct printing, we can make it a little faster so uh, users can send jobs directly to the printer rather than coming through the print server and it taking a little bit longer. And then of course we have properties and these are the general, no pun intended, I'm on the general page, general you know, uh, property sharing, manage ports, manage advanced options like what do we do with mismatched documents or keep printed documents or print spool documents first, color management fonts, all, right. all the stuff that we have in Windows 10 for configuring our printers. Same basic information here. Okay, now if I'm going to share the printer, I'm going to right click and then I can either deploy with group policies or manage sharing and share this printer from here. Share this printer, uh, whether I want to print our jobs on client computers or locally, and just hit it uh, OK, and that is now shared. No, I haven't listed it in Active Directory yet or deployed it. That's fine. We're going to talk about deploying in another video. I do want to show you how I can connect to it using the UNC path name, however. So let me open up my file manager again, pretending I'm on a client computer now. I do backslash backslash the server name, in this case IT146. And here's my generic text-only printer that is being shared. And then I can right-click connect and that will install that on my client computer or I can and from my client computer add printers search active directory or get it deployed via group policy okay so <clears throat> that's a quick overview of the print management tool just remember that this tool in Windows Server is far and away the best way to manage printers and printing across multiple different servers from a single location.